Brah, what's going down? We're, uh, we're living the dream here. We're, we're continuing our BB core test. We're gonna do three single piece alloy bats today. So we're gonna do the Atlas, the Voodoo, and the Strato. If you can see all those bats. We're gonna do those three. Uh, this is gonna be a follow up from our, our last one where we did the Icon, the Hype from Easton, and then the Marucci Cat. X connect, which one based on our objective measurements. So let's get the objective measurements here on these three single piece alloy bats, and then we'll see which one goes on to the next round. And we'll get in the cage and get some numbers and you know, we'll do, uh, we'll do our thing. We'll do our thing. Here All we right, we're gonna do minor wins first. Now remember minor wins are barrel size, like how big the barrel is and what so the swing, swing weight wise, we took it to our little measuring station, did all of our little gadgets. And look how close they are, by the way, 9,300 down to 9,100. These, these three bats all swing actually really, really similar in this order. So the Atlas is the heaviest, the straddle sort of in the middle of that. And then of course you have the Demarini Voodoo One. So the Voodoo One gets our half point uh, for being the lightest swinging bat of all those three, although it's, you know, it's super close. Okay, so we took this ring right here and we put them around those bats right there. And we actually found that the Strato has the biggest barrel. The Voodoo One actually has the smallest barrel of the of the three and then the atlas is there in the middle and by smallest what we mean of course is where that ring stops from going up So we got it. It's now the big reveal. Which bat? Which bat did the best in the major wins? What bat? What bat did the best? What would uh, you guess are the best? I would say definitely the Voodoo one. Is that the bat you liked the most? Definitely, yeah. It didn't hurt my hands like the other ones. Yeah. Okay. Again, you can go to the app. It's just a free public website that we made. Um, you can look it up. So here we're at, folks. Oh wow! Uh, lo and behold. If we're giving uh, full points, one point for here, one point for here, and one point for here, then your winner is, in fact, the DeMarini Voodoo One. Um, two miles an hour faster. Man, you hit that ball hard. Again, this just takes the top five. So the top five from the 10, the 10 what he considered to be good hits. Um, it hit the ball further. Uh, the actual exit speed per swing speed. So the exit per swing speed means we take the, a the actual exit speed versus the swing speed, which we track on a Garmin sensor, and we just take the ratio of that. So the higher number means that it took less swing speed to get that kind of exit velocity. So that actually goes to the Atlas. But overall, the Voodoo One wins. The Voodoo One wins. And if you look close here, the average actual swing speed, um, he swung the Voodoo One way harder than these. We other. often see that in testing when somebody swings a bat way harder Couple reasons. One, it might be way lighter, although it's not way lighter, it's just a little bit lighter. Two is that uh, the hitter likes it more, so they want it to do better, so they swing that bat harder. We see that happen a lot with bats that kids like. They tend to, it's really hard to be like this objective robot scientist when you're in there hitting. Ultimately, you like a bat better, and the question is, well, why do you like it better? Uh, thousands of reasons. One could be because it actually just feels better, and you like hitting it, you have more confidence with it, therefore you're willing to swing the bat faster. So these are these sort of nuances that you can't get in objective tests that you have to go out and just try the stuff out. But in any case, it's the Voodoo One that you, wins. You uh, surprised by that, Voodoo One it is? Uh, no, not really. So here's our two winners so far. We got the Voodoo One and the Marucci Cat X Composite. That doesn't feel surprising for some reason, right? Uh, I want I want there to be like a a dark horse, a dark horse in our little competition. But in any case, of the six bats we've tested so far, they've all been really, really close. Welcome to BB Core. These two guys apparently have performed well, and in both cases, the hitter liked the bat better that they did better with. So that's. That's always a good sign, that's always a win. Next time we're gonna do the other three single piece alloy bats. There's actually a couple others, but in the 2023 class. But we'll do the Bone Saver, the Cat X, and the Easton Alpha. That'll be fun, right? That'll be fun, see which one of those bad boys move on to the next round. On the road to finding the best BB Core bat for him. Uh, thanks for watching, do your thing. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon, probably next week. We'll have another one, so peace.